Okay, I think we're live. Good morning, everybody, or anybody that's watching. Hope everything is going well today. Ooh, sorry, I just got through running up some stairs. <clears throat> All right, today I'm going to be dialing some new leads, a few A leads. Um, not sure how many A leads will be done. Not many. One, two, three. Just three. Three A leads today and a host of D leads. Um, I do have appointments today, which is pretty cool. Set a couple appointments from the dial session the other day that were callbacks. Um, so that worked. Excuse me. I'm gonna grab some water. Um, I think one thing that's important when you're dialing uh, before you start doing these things is it's kind of like I was telling Brian the other day I was doing this I'd injured my back I have a bad back history from athletics but and you just don't feel great when you go into dial sessions your mind is messed up and, and you're just you're just not feeling it uh, so after a couple of days of rehabbing and resting in ice uh, I feel awesome today so my energy levels are good I always recommend that. Uh, said my prayers this morning, drank my water, did my exercise. Um, so I feel awesome. Got my shirt on. I don't know if y'all can see that. Living the dream. Got that from a, a really good friend and mentor of mine uh, a few years ago. Um, kind of you know, kind of symbolic of what we have the possibilities of doing. But anyway, so oh, one thing I want to go over real quick and I'm sure Brian will go over this with everybody and I gotta get it filled out as I'm kind of going through it now. This right here is your schedule. Um, these are your, what I call your big rocks, the things that you, you need to participate in if at all possible. Um, I'll keep it real simple. When, when I'm just, when I'm focused on just sales and production, I will dial all day long. Like my goal is to set 20 appointments. If I can set 20 appointments, essentially what happens is I'm just going to dial, dial, dial until I get 20 appointments. Um, so like obviously I can't stay on here all day, but as I'm on here and hey, good morning Sturgis. Um, as I'm on here dialing, the, the idea is if, if I have to dial 500 times in a day to set that many appointments, that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, once you get to that number, there could be some issues. You know, maybe you need to correct some things. Uh, but essentially, putting the activity in, dialing, you know, an old, an old formula I used to have would be essentially if you dial 300 times in a day, you're going to set 10 to 15 appointments and, and sell so many, you know, so half of them have some no-shows. Really, your goal should be, if you've told Brian or if you're on another agency, if you've told Brian or anybody that your goal is to be full-time, then you need to be setting 15, 20 appointments a week, every week. Um, if you don't have enough leads, go to the deed lead system. They're awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome to be able to get numbers up. Um, but the idea is, hey man, I need 20 appointments. So you need to have enough leads to dial and dial and dial. You don't stop. A lot of people say, how many dials is enough dials? How many times do I need to dial during a week? That, I'm not, I'm not going to downplay that and say that you're looking for an easy way out. But honestly, it's as many dials as you have to make to get your 20 appointments or 15 appointments, whatever your goal is. If you do that, then everything will take care of itself. Because you make that 15 to 20 appointments, uh, you're going to have some no-shows. You're going to have some that don't qualify. You're going to have some that fall through. But you're going to make sales. And you're going to make a few grand every week if you're doing that. Um, you just need the numbers. And and again, I'm, I'm as guilty as anybody. I've been just stuck on this A-lead, A-lead, A-lead thing. Then the coronavirus hits. And then it's an excuse to not put up numbers um, instead of plugging into the resources we have at Eccles. We, we have resources to have enough leads to be able to dial. And then the, the D leads are 50 cents. You know, I mean, that, that's simple. Just buy a bunch of them. You know, if you have issues, talk to me, Brian. You know, we'll, we'll help out. Um, but there really is no, with the excuse, with the resources we have at Equus, there's no excuse to not be putting in the activity. Um, and the cool thing is, is if you put the activity in, 
we can fix mistakes and I make them just as well. Um, we can fix mistakes, but if the activity is not being put in, it, it's very difficult. I mean, that's the mistake is just not working hard enough. Um, but to, but to answer a schedule from an answer, uh, from a schedule standpoint, I'll dial all day today. I have some appointments, but I'll, I'll work my appointments, you know, and then get back on the phones. I'll dial all day today. I'll dial, um, essentially every other day. I'm going to dial all day today, all day Wednesday, all day Friday. That's typically what I'll do because I don't really have a, I have a minimum. I have a minimum of 15 to 20, uh, appointments. If I say I hit 15 appointments or 20 appointments by tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm not going to stop working. I want to keep going. I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, cause that's all I'm doing right now. Brian, Brian does an outstanding job of helping with agents and helping with recruiting and getting the team moving in the right direction. So my focus is just to, to pick up production and kind of lead from the front, uh, which is why we picked up uh, taking the D leads. We have enough leads and so forth. Um, but yeah, that, that's what your schedule should look like. If you're just trying to go, then my schedule is dial all day on schedule to dial all day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If I have time tomorrow and on Thursday, I'll dial every day. It, it, it really depends on how each dial session goes, but I schedule Monday, Wednesday, Friday dials. Um, and then you can talk to Brian about if you're recruiting and selling, uh, talk to Brian about a schedule because uh, I can tell you mine and, you know, but I don't want to confuse it with, with what he's teaching on recruiting. So. But anyway, that's it. Um, what I would say is anybody that's watching, get uh, get your schedule filled out. And I'd probably send it over to Brian. You can send it to me as well. But from a recruiting standpoint, I'd say get it to Brian. Let him go over that with you. And you really want to stick to that schedule. Um, stay accountable to it. That's it. Uh, you're you're going to have bad days. You're going to have bad slumps. You're going to have great days and great runs. Uh, but stay accountable to it at all times. As soon as you stop being accountable to it, um, you start seeing things kind of go south, and you don't want to do that. And that's in any business. It could be this. It could be owning a pizza shop. It doesn't make a difference. So, All right. That being said, I am going to start dialing. So here we go. And these are North Carolina. Well, there you go. Brian just answered that. And I got to remember which one is my Charlotte number. Here we go. 26981. Okay. I think that's an 812. It's pretty tough when they can't read it. I'm glad she put her name on there because he did not. So it's Alvin and the wife is Vicky. Cool. Call back in a second. Hey Alvin. Yeah. Hey Alvin, this is Brant. I'm the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program you wrote in about for you and Vicky. Uh, the mortgage protection. Yeah. Do you remember writing that in? Okay. Yeah. Can you call back a little bit? We eat breakfast right there. Eat breakfast. Yeah. Get. I'll call you back. Give. What? About how many minutes do you need? I'm just trying to set an appointment with you. About thirty. Okay, we brother. Okay, you go eat your breakfast. I'll talk to you around 940. All right. Okay. Thank you. 
Bye bye. Normally, I'd like to set that appointment, but I'll call him back. I mean, he recognized it. it's an A lead. Um, if that's an old lead, here, here's the way I typically do that. On an A lead where he's filled it out, he's put a time, he's signed it, and put all this information. If he's in the middle of eating, they just started eating, I'll call him back. I don't like doing that, but I will. Uh, on an older lead, basically what I do is I'll push right there. Say, hey, it's no big deal. I just need to set an appointment with you so we can go with this information. Um, I'm not going to push right now as far as that goes with the A lead. Um, but that being said, yeah, on, on an old lead, I would push that for sure. So let me call him back in 30 minutes. One of those late breakfast eaters. All right, here's one that I'm calling. I don't know if anybody can see, but it says, you can look down there, it says call after 5 p.m. I'm calling this morning. That's what it is. Um, Hey, Kathy. Kathy. Hi. Hey, Kathy. Hi. Kathy, can you hear me? Who is this? This is Brant. I'm the field underwriter for the mortgage protection program that you wrote in about. Yeah, I just wanted to take my name off the list and not the sending. Miguel gets in something like every day through the mail. Uh huh. And, and then I, 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 I told somebody emailed him and said I didn't want uh, to do that. So if you just cancel that out and take me off the mailing list. Okay, so when you sent it in, it was basically you wanted someone to contact you so, because you weren't interested in it. Is that correct? But then I ended up going online and uh, fill, fill something out. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't want to mess with that right now. But thank you. Okay. Thank you. If I could just be taken off the list because I've been getting those like every day or every other day in the mail. Oh, I see. I see. So you didn't, you didn't want that stuff that pays off the mortgage and all that. I don't need, I don't want it right now. I'll check into it maybe some other time. Hmm. Okay. Well, what I'll do, because there's no list, I'll just keep it on my desk because it's because there's multiple companies. I'm a, I'm an independent underwriter, so I don't know how many of those you filled out, but I'll definitely. Oh, she hung up on me. Well, that went great. She hung up on me. Um, that's one of the few times I've had that happen, um, with another lead source where someone says, oh, I just called in because I wanted, uh, wanted y'all to stop contacting me. Uh, this is one where she actually mailed it in. I've never had that happen. And she wrote after 5 p.m. That's a call back. That is one that I will call her back next week just as well. So... Not a pro. Oh Lord, I can't read it. Felice, Felice. Okay. I've never seen that happen. I've been doing this ten years. Never had someone fill out the actual paper and sent it in and said I was doing that. So y'all leave me alone. Interesting. She's gonna get a call back because she hung up on me. Felice. Hi, Felice is currently unavailable. Please speak clear. Get one straight to voicemail. Just want to see what's going on there. We'll call her back. Unavailable. 
available. Please speak clearly. Your voicemail is being transcribed by email. Hi, Felice. This is Brantley Dunn. I'm the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program that you wrote in about. Um, you put on here to call at any time. You put your phone number twice. Uh, that way you know I'm not a telemarketer. You put your age was 50. It's just my job uh, to go over the info with you and see what we can do to help you out. Um, just takes a couple minutes. Give me a call back. My number is 704-269-8150. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. So on the leads, if you notice, if you can see that, I will put um, two slashes because I called them twice. Kept going straight to voicemail. No need to call a third time. And it says uh, straight to VM, straight to voicemail. So I wrote message. In other words, I left a message. Uh, I want to leave notes on all my leads uh, so I kind of know what's going on. Um, all right. So that's it for the A leads. This is three A leads. Now I'm going into the D leads. But again, to me, it's just name and number. See, the thing is, is when you look at these things, there's a D lead. There's no date on them. Um, it's simple. It, it just to me, it's just a, a name and a number. Uh, I don't know when they fill these things out. I have no clue. Don't care. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna start dialing. Hope they'll get something out of it. Once they get to the right phone number. Hey, Betty. No, sorry, wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. And she hung up. I didn't get to respond. Wrong number. Wrong number, and I hang up. That's going to be a call back. Just a double check. Call it 10, 12. Yeah, we'll just call. So you never know what they go by. You have reached Robert Trickett with Piedmont Natural Gas. If you are experiencing a natural gas emergency, some sort. Call it back.
Piedmont Natural Gas. If you're experiencing a natural gas emergency, call 911. If this is a non-emergency call or you need to reschedule a missed appointment, you must call 1-800-752-7504. Please do not leave a message at this number. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Robert, this is Brantley Dunn. I'm the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program that you wrote in about. Um, it's just my job to go over the info with you and see what we can do to help you. Uh, give me a call back. My number is 704-269-8167. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Crazy time. What I'm trying to do. Okay, fine. What I'm trying to do is I got a few that say to call and eh, around lunchtime. And I'm just trying to. Normally I'm gonna try to call everybody even if it's not lunchtime, but I'm trying to get a few that. You know, kind of say any time on it. See if we can't get some more contact. This is funny. Leave message. I screen calls. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Should have done this earlier, but normally I said I just want to. I just want to after eight thirty p.m. Interesting. Well, I can't even pronounce that mm. those are my leads for today okay. oh lord I won't even know how to say that name I'm going to have to try him in a little bit alright let's just go with Stephen Forgot my password on my phone. Here we go. Call during the day, seven to five. All right then. I was looking for Stephen. Um, this is his wife. That, Can I help you with something? That'll be fine. He did, he, I'm an underwriter, field underwriter with the mortgage protection program that he wrote in about. He just didn't put your name on here. He put a date of birth on it. He just didn't put your name. Um, we already have insurance for that. We did that like a year ago. Hold on a second. The mortgage protection thing? Yeah, it's mortgage protection, and that may be why they have me call, and, and, and I, I never know all the time. It's just what happens is when the programs change where people can save about 20%, especially with this coronavirus stuff going on, they I guess they have me call them back out there. Um, does is that interest you if they could save you 20%? Is that something you guys would want to go over? No, thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Oh. Wow, she just hung up on me. Okay. I will call her back. Love getting hung up on. But it happens.
Hey, Harold. Hey. Hey, Harold. This is Brant. I'm the field underwriter for the mortgage protection program that you wrote in about. Uh -huh. Um, just my job to go over the info with you. Do you remember filling that out just under the best time to call? You wrote any time, so I hope I caught you at a decent time. Yeah, what I what I typically do is just ask some questions and just kind of see what's going on. Obviously, today's, you know, with this virus thing, it's a little bit different. We can't meet face to face. But generally what I do is do video appointments so we can actually see you so there's no doctors involved in this stuff. Um, are you typically around during the afternoons? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me verify real quick what you wrote here. You wrote that your date of birth was 10-3, it looks like 1963, is that correct? Okay, I'm just making sure you've got, got the right guy. Okay. All right, and real last question. Do you have a Droid phone or do you have an Apple-type phone? Anything like that? I have a Droid. You have a Droid. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do... I'll call you on that droid phone and it's going to be through their video service so you can actually see the person and just going to ask you a couple questions go over it with you and just see what we can do to help you out I don't need any money or anything like that from you just basically it's my job to see what you'd qualify for and hopefully it can help you okay okay all right and I'm going to call today are you you're going to be around this afternoon as well yeah okay I can do this around 1, 1.15, would that be good? I'm sorry? You might want to try around 2. Around 2 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. And last question, is there, a, is there a spouse involved at all in this? No. Okay. All right. That's after. I know you didn't put one on there, but sometimes people just leave them off there to ask. All right, my man, I'll call you at 2 o'clock, and uh, we'll just see if we can get help you out. It just takes a couple minutes, and then hopefully we can help you, man. Okay. All right, bud, we'll talk to you at 2. All right, bye. All right, bye. Um, normally, when I set an appointment, I go over verification. Um, at that point, I got a little distracted, sitting there looking outside, and that gummit. <laughs> Just got trash trucks and everything else. But normally what I like to do is do me a favor, um, take down my contact number, take down my contact name, grab a pen. I like to control that when setting the appointment. Um, but that's okay. And then I'll, I'll have them write down a verification code. Uh, but it is what it is. So I'll call him at 2 o'clock. Um... The reason I want to use the Droid video, I don't know the name of it, but you just hit the Droid, is because I've just really failed miserably at the whole Zoom thing. I don't know why. Um, we practiced it. Practiced it again last night. Um, so we'll see see what we can work out with that. Most people I've talked to have had Apple, Apple phone. So that's cool. 2 p.m. appointment. Gerald Nixon. And there you go. There's a D lead that's been booked at 2 o'clock. So I'll let you know if we can make a sale on that, then this thing cost me 50 cents and I might make 500 or 1,000 bucks or 100 bucks. It doesn't really make a difference to me. Uh, just make something. Very cool. So it does work. Hello, it's Brantley. Hello, it's Brantley. Gabriel, okay, hold on one second. I don't want to give you any wrong info. Hold on one second. That's fine. Felice, get there it is. Felice, okay. All right, I am the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program that you wrote in about. 
Do you remember doing that? And you wrote to call at any time. Yeah. You wrote your number twice. Okay. I just verify so you know what I'm not not some type of telemarketer because <laughs> there's a lot of those today. Yeah, I remember getting it through the e through the mail and then I submitted it. Yeah. Okay, so you know you know I'm a real person. All right. Well, what <laughs> what what I typically do and, and Felice, things are a little bit different today, right? I mean, normally I would see you face to face because I do this for all these financial right. companies. Can't do that at least not for a good week and a half now, I think. But um, I'm at home just like a lot of people with five kids and wife and going crazy. But what we do is I go over this information with you through video, okay? Because there's no doctors involved with this stuff. So it's my job to see what you qualify for that possibly can help you out. Don't need any money from you. Don't need anything like that. Um, when are you typically, are you available this afternoon to go over this? It takes about five, ten minutes at the most. Yeah, um, actually, I'm just out running, just leaving the um, UPS store and got to go to my mom's house. But other than that, yeah, okay. I can be, yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'm normally home every day, all day. Okay, Felice, what type of um, phone do you have? Do you have a Droid or do you have an Apple? I have an Apple. Okay, so you you know what FaceTime is? Absolutely. Uh, well, hey, you say like I should. I had to have my kids show me how to use that. <laughs> so... Maybe God knew better. <laughs> yeah, he knew. He was like, nah, maybe she don't need any. No. <laughs> I don't know. But that, I have nephews and nephews and um, God kids. So. No, they have, uh, they've humbled me and made me calm. So it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, all right. So let's do this, Felice. I'll call you. Um, let's do a FaceTime. Let me look at my schedule. Let's do that. How's your out running around? How's a, you like 11 or 12 better? Maybe 12. 12 would be better. All right, you said maybe now. You want a different time? 12, yeah, 12 would be better. Okay. No, because I'm just going to my own house and I should be back by then. And I'm, I'm still in the process of unpacking, so yeah. Oh, sweet Lord. Good Lord will bless you because that ain't fun. <laughs> no, that is not fun. I just get out of the way when we move with my wife. She just says, get out of my way. <laughs> yes, you want to stay happy? Stay out of the way. Okay. Oh, that, that's my lesson. Um, all right, well, let's do this. I'm going to FaceTime you at 12 o'clock. And, and I'm, I'm going to tell you now, Felice, I don't know what number this thing comes from because it's on my iPad. Um, okay. It's probably a 336 or a 704 number. That's all I know. But when you see a FaceTime come through at 12 o'clock, you'll know it's me, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And my name is Brant, so if you want me to text you my name so you know who it is, that's fine as well. Um, let's see. And you're, on, you're in the car. No, you, I mean, that should be fine because that's the only, you know, I don't FaceTime often. I don't FaceTime with a lot of people, so I would know that it's you at 12 o'clock. Okay. All right. Well, I will do that at 12, and um, let's see. Are you in the car right now? Yes, I am. Okay, never mind. I was going to tell you to write down a confirmation number. Don't do that. You just keep driving. I'll talk to you at 12 o'clock. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Talk to you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Boom, baby. There's another one. So we go two in a row on D-Leads. Um... Which is interesting because she says that, um, there you go. I mean, she's says she's just still unpacking. So it kind of explains what the D leads can do. I mean, your, your D leads could be, again, this might be somebody that hadn't, I have a couple, you know, that I've been working on where they're not going to be able to move in for another six months. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's a dollar of leads, and we've got two appointments set up today already. So that's pretty good, and that doesn't count the appointments I already have done. Um, so that rocks. I need to write that down. That would be smart. Don't get too excited. There's another appointment. She sounded happy. She sounded joyful. And you got and, and a lot of that is what you put in. Um, and the reason I booked that... At 12, I'm glad she said 12 because got the cook, kickoff call at 11. Almost messed that up. Oh, Lord. 
Felice Gabriel. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of times on D leads, man, they just haven't just, you know, we call them at the wrong time or, or whatever the reasoning. Um, it's just not a good time. And then we got the one we got to call back in a few minutes. That was Alvin. Um, yeah. So don't get down. It lets you know that you can book these things. It's, it's just it's a it's a number. It's a name and a number, man. It's just a name and a number. And I could sit here and do this thing all day long. I could sit here and dial all day long. Not that that's the goal. The goal is to get those fifteen appointments. Right now, I've got one. Right now, I've got six. Um, count them what I already had set. So I got a lot more to go. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if who's out there watching or if you watch this as recording, but the successes are great. When you get those little successes, man, it, it's it's just so daggum uplifting. I hate when they don't put their spouse's name. Jeez. Oh. Hey, Edward. Hey. Hey, man. This is Brant. I'm the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program you wrote in about. About that mortgage protection program, it's just that stuff that helps you pay off bills and mortgage and stuff if you get sick or lose your income, anything like that. Do you remember sending that in? Uh, I didn't, but okay, I'm listening. <laughs> well, there's a spouse on here. There's a chance she did that for you. <laughs> How about that? Uh, if she's anything like my wife, she probably did it for you and put your name on here. Um. Uh, Let's see. She put on here that you're a non. Let me read this thing. It says that you're a non-smoker. She's a non-smoker. And it said preferred contact person Edward. That's what she wrote on here. And I can't read the ages. It may say forty-nine and fifty something along those. I can't read it. Yeah, forty-nine, forty-nine, fifty. Yes. Sir. There you go. Okay. Well, you know you. And what it is? It's about your mortgage. She put down at the time was a hundred and seventy-three thousand seven hundred fifty bucks. So she put it to the dollar. Okay. Okay. So what this stuff is, it's essentially you would when you when you refinanced or bought a new house, whichever way this was done, um, she mailed in a form that was sent in to you guys through the mail. You probably got twenty of them. I can promise you, I just did it myself. But um, when you send them in, I'm the field underwriter, and what I do is I go over the information with you and your spouse and say, hey, if something were to happen to your income or if something were to happen to you, whichever way it works. Uh, there's a lot of money there that helps pay off bills, pays off the mortgage. It just makes sure that you don't go into a financial despair. Okay. Uh, and, it's, and it's my, and there's no doctors involved. I'm the eyes and ears of the doctor. Um, typically, do you go by Edward or Ed? Uh, either is fine. Okay. Typically, Edward, what we do is we'd come out, see you, make sure you're alive and breathing. Obviously, you can't do that now just because of this virus stuff. Um, so what I do is I do video appointments. I basically do a quick video, you know, set a time with you, obviously, and then say, Hey man, you know, this is the program that's available to you. And hopefully we can help you out. I don't need your money. I don't need anything like that. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what you would qualify for. It takes about five, 10 minutes. So that being said, and, and I'll show you a picture of it so you know it's not crazy. So you'll actually see the lead, and I actually can text a copy of that lead over to you if you want to see it, uh, that form. So what we do, um, are you available this afternoon, or do you like the evenings? Which is better for you? Uh, uh, let's see. Let, me re uh, let me rephrase that. Are you working, Edward? Do you, are you working? Okay, I was like, man, I don't want to interfere with your work either. <laughs> so, you know, 
So when are you typically home from work? How about that? Uh, usually around about uh, usually around about six six thirty somewhere around in there. Usually when I'm back at the house. Okay. Somewhere no, a little later about six thirty six six thirty around in there. Okay, so you're a little bit later. Let's do this. Um, let's see. My wife usually cooks around six thirty. I'm just I'm trying to think of my wife's schedule as well. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, man, wife and five kids, brother. I gotta follow that schedule. <laughs> um, let's let's do this. I'm gonna I'll call you. What kind of phone do you have? Do y'all have an Apple phone or Droids? Okay, I'm gonna video you because the way we do this is through video. So I'm gonna do the video through Droid, but I'll call you ahead of time at about seven about seven fifteen. Does that sound, is that, you yeah. think you'll be available at that time? Oh, yeah, yes. That's not going to be interfering with dinner or anything, right? Uh, no, sir. No, oh, sir. Okay. So I'm going to do that. It sounds to me like you're out there. Let's do this at 7.15 and uh, make sure your wife knows I'm dialing in so we can go over this with you. And in the meantime, is this your cell phone? Yes. Okay, I'm going to text this over to you. I'm going to text you a picture of that form, so that way you know it's not some crazy person wasting your time. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. All right, Edward, we'll talk to you tonight at 7.15. Make sure you let that wife know. Hey, hey, Edward, she did not put her name on here. What is her name so I don't sound crazy? Uh, her name is Carolyn. Carolyn. Okay, Carolyn. Uh -huh. And she... Let me make sure she's, oh, she's a year older than you. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, my man, I'll talk to you at 715. All right, sounds good. Okay, take care. Thank you, you too. Okay. Three in a row. You just keep going, man. You just keep going. Um, I guess I could write down the type of phone they got. So you just keep dialing. I mean, that's, that's it. Don't get too excited. Don't get too down. Cause that's pretty cool. Just got to keep it rolling. Well, one second, got a message sent in. Yeah, that's funny. So, Brian, say you book more appointments off the D-leads than any of the A-leads. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's been rough this last probably two weeks. Um, I won't name the area, but haven't had a lot of A-leads come in, and to be quite frank with you, I mean, half the ones I've had come in, maybe more lately, have had um, just been bad phone numbers. And these are A-leads that have numbers that go to, either says disconnected, or go straight to the busy. Boop, 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 just back, and there's nothing you can do when you can't door knock, there's nothing you can do. And let me tell you something, an A-lead at my contract level is, gosh, I don't know, 40 to 55 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, 50 cents. I can't overemphasize that. 50 cents. So we're booking them. I may end up booking them for today. That's the other thing I learned this from, uh, I believe it was, yeah, I think it was Andrew Pappas. Um, try to book them same day, no later than tomorrow, no later than 24 hours out. They'll no show you. Um, had that happen yesterday. No show, you know, obviously not answering. So you can book them a little closer than normal. normally. When I'm, you know, going to see people face to face, I book them every two hours. Um, here, maybe sometimes depending on the day. I mean, sometimes I'll do an hour forty five, but I try to make sure there's two hours in between typically. Uh, with these, I'm doing about every hour, if all possible. The late ones are a little bit tougher because of my schedule at home. Oh, Lord. 
somebody getting in trouble downstairs. It can be crazy trying to homeschool five kids and work at the same time. Oof. You go to public school. Seven, zero, four, seven, nine, zero, nine, three, three, four is not available. We got to call this one guy back in a minute. Alvin. This nine, keeps going straight zero, to nine, three, three, four. Is not available. Hey Lee, this is Brantley Dunn. I'm the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program you wrote in about. Um, right, just so you remember, right where it says spouse, you got a big old X through it. Uh, it's just my job. Um, let's see. Oh, Lee, I got the wrong daggum. Person completing is Lee. I'm sorry, and it has Michelle as the, I see. But it's my job to get the info to you. Um, give me a call back. My number is 704-269-8167. And again, this is just, uh, it's that program that pays off the mortgage if something would happen to your income or anything like that. Uh, again, my number is 704-269-8167. Thanks. Bye-bye. Well, that went really weird. Um, I should have looked. It says person completing the form lead quarter. And then at the top, it says Michelle quarter. But it says no spouse. But then it says female. I would think, Mrs. I don't really know what's going on here. It confused me and it just threw me off. Whew. I'll have to try that again. That was a big botch on my end. Jeez. Yeah. Hmm. Michelle and Lee. It says person completing is Lee. The name of the mortgage is Michelle. Lee is L-E-E. -E, but it says female. So I'm a little confused there. Don't want to mess up a divorce. Hope not. All right. We're going to call, um, we're going to call this fella back. We're going to call back Alvin. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. I'm going to log into my phone. Let's see if Alvin's finished eating breakfast. If he even answers, these are the ones I don't like. I don't like the callback thing. Should have botched that one. Hello. Hey, Alvin. Hey man, I hope did uh, you you done with your breakfast? Yeah. All right. Just to let you know, I'm the field underwriter for that mortgage protection program that y'all wrote in. It said to call between nine and twelve. How much? It said to call between nine and twelve. Whoever it, said, it has your name, so I don't know if you or your wife, as Vicky, filled this out. But it says to call between nine and twelve. Do you remember that form? No. Okay. What it is, it's just that program. I guess when y'all either refinanced or bought a new house, it doesn't tell me if it's a new mortgage or a refi. For uh, let me see what she put: one hundred and fifty-seven, three hundred ninety-eight dollars, exactly to the penny. The one now? It was for your mortgage at one hundred and fifty-seven thousand three hundred ninety-eight dollars. And what it is is, I'm the field underwriter. When whoever sent this form in, it was either you or Vicky. What it is, it's that program that if something happens to you or you get sick or anything, you have access to a bunch of money to pay off that mortgage and any other bills that are available. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. I sold insurance for 37 years, so I know what you're talking about. There you go. So you know what this stuff is. And I have to explain that to people a lot of times because it says mortgage yeah. protection. 
But I tell them, I say, you know, mortgage protection, final expense, annuities, they all fall under that life insurance umbrella. They just got fancy titles. Yeah. But, uh, and that's what it is, um, is I just show you what's the best thing out there. I mean, even though I do this for about 15 different companies, it really comes down to about two or three that have the best programs out there with living benefits where you don't have to die for this stuff. Um, and that's what I do. I'll go over that with you. Okay. You, you can't tell me to fly us over the phone? Well, i got to ask you some questions about that. Normally, what I, I got, because I need to ask you about health and a few other things. What, um, yeah. let me ask you this. Are you going to be available this afternoon so we can go over that? Uh, no, I, I won't be uh, this afternoon. It, it, it would have to be... Uh, Oh, Lordy, probably about uh, Wednesday morning or in the morning time. Okay, so you're not you're not going. We got a form. It'll have to be tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Yeah, we got. Go ahead. If if you come tomorrow about eleven thirty or something like that. Yeah, what we have to do normally, I would see you face to face, but these daggum rules with this virus stuff. So what I would do. Do y'all have a, is this a cell phone or a home number? This is a home number. Okay, do either one, do y'all have cell phones or no? We do. Okay, what kind of, let me ask you this, do, you, do either one of y'all have an Apple phone or are they droids? A what kind of phone? Apple, like an iPhone? No, no we don't have an iPhone. I got you. Here's what I'll do. I'll call you tomorrow at 11.30. Normally, we got to see face. we just got to see your face, make sure you're alive and breathing. But um, let's do this. Let's talk at 11.30 tomorrow. And um, it'll take about 5, 10 minutes. Before, before we do that, let me ask you a question. Is there any type of medications y'all have I need to know about that's serious, kind of like heart attacks or cancer or anything like that? Yeah, I, I, I'm a diabetic. That's fine. Type 2. Is that type two, Alvin? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't understand what you said. Yeah, type two, kind of that metformin. Are you taking any type of insulin or just pills? Yeah, I take insulin and pills. Okay. All righty. And how about Vicky? Uh, no, she's not a. Uh, she's not a diabetic. Uh, she don't really have any health problems except for back for, for right now. Oh, good for her, man. That, I know those back issues can be bothersome, but boy, if that's the worst, that's a good thing. Let's see. All right, my man, what I'm going to do, do you have a pen with you? Yeah, I got a pen. Okay, write this down. Let's see. My name is... Wait a minute. I, okay. I thought about that. I'm going to have to get a hold of the man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, if if the dog or the cat is laying on my kids, they say, Dad, we can't move because it'll make the dog or the cat get up. It's like, no, man. Yeah. Mount Holly. My family is from Mount Holly. You've been there a long time? Family. Have you been in Mount Holly a long time? Okay, there's a there's a Chevrolet store right there off uh, 27. It used to be called Cross Chevrolet. Yeah, it's not there. Anymore. I mean, it's there, but uh, the people that run it are actually on uh, uh, right there off 485 now. Okay, yeah, that Cross used to be. That was my uncle's. He lived right down the road, and then he passed what away. Yeah, Jim Jim, Jim Cross, man, Jim Cross. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I did business. Yeah, he ended up passing. No, 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 not Jim. He's gone. He's gone. He had cancer. Let's see here. All right, so what you're going to write down is my name is Brantley, B-R-A-N-T-L-E-Y. I got it. 
and then we're going to be at 1130 tomorrow. All right, Alvin, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. It's supposed to be a nice day today. Okay. All right, then. All right, brother. We'll talk to you again. Uh, I do have AFib, too. You have AFib? Okay. Hold on. Did yeah. you have a correction for your AFib? Or just medical? Right did you have an ablation done or did any type of procedure done for it? No, Mom. Okay. So are you on a blood thinner for it? Yeah. Okay. Blood thinner. Okay. Cool deal, my man. Bye. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Here's another one. My afternoon's a little... The reason I didn't push for that one at some point today because I'm running short on time. Um, that's four appointments out of four contacts there in a row. And I say contact, I'm four in a row because we dialed the one in between and left the message. Uh, so this goes to show you can go on it, you can start really rolling. Um, so now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, what is that? Eight. So we got eight appointments right now. Um, and I've got to go in just a minute. What time is it? Oh, yeah, I got to get moving. So what we have, I got a, another call going at 10 o'clock. Um, just goes to show you, just keep dialing, just keep dialing, get on a roll. That's four contacts in a row, other than the one that was in the mess. So you got four contacts, four appointments, just keep rolling. To me, it's just a name and number. I don't care if it's final expense. I don't care if it's mortgage protection. It's a name and a number that someone sent in. Okay. Um, the other thing is, yeah, and, and that's what Brian's put on here. Make sure you can book them same day or within 24 hours, like we talked about earlier. Um, very, very important. Very, very important. And when it's just like really, really the same thing with the normal point. And when we're going to knock at somebody's door, try to keep your appointments within 24 hours. It, it, when we're able to get out in public, no more than 48 hours. Otherwise, you end up with a lot of no-shows or the possibilities. Uh, but anyway, so as you can see, with D-Leads, you can be very successful. I mean... Excuse me. Do this all day, and you'll get 15, 20 appointments. And I'm not great on the phone. I'm not terrible. I just talk. I enjoy it. Have have a much better energy today than I did the other day. And look at the results. And I'm not saying there's voodoo magic involved here, but when you have big energy and the right type of energy, the results seem to change. Uh, seem to be more positive. All right, guys. Take care.